All right, what's up guys? This is Jeffrey Rodriguez, and today we are gonna be talking about understanding swing highs and swing lows and the Forex market. So what defines a swing high? Basically, what you need to look for is you're looking for a candle that forms a high. So like the one that you could see in the picture, the wick is higher than the candles on each side of it. So what requires a swing high is to have two candles next to a candle in the middle that are low that close lower than the middle candle so if you look in the picture you'll see the swing high and then the candle to the left is a lower high and then the candle to the right is a lower high so that makes the one in the middle a swing high so now let's look at a swing low so a swing low is the same exact thing as a swing high, it's just inverse. So there's gonna be a low, and then on each side of that swing low, there's gonna be a higher low. So if you look in the picture, you'll see the swing low, and then each candle to the left of it closes higher than the middle candle. So it doesn't always have to be like a green up candle for a swing low but you're just looking for two candles on each side of it. So one candle to the left, one candle to the right. Make sure that those are higher lows than the one in the middle. And so if you look at the swing high and swing low, the two that I've just outlined are right here and it's shown on a monthly chart. And usually whenever a swing high or swing low forms on a monthly chart, it's usually in place for a significant amount of time, just mainly because they, they're they establishing that on a monthly time frame, and when they move away from it, it you know it's going to take some time to get back to it because it takes one month for it to form, and then it trades away for a month. So if you look at this example and we count, that's three, four, five, six, seven. That's nine months worth of price action in between those swings. And in between the swing high and the swing low, it creates a trading range. And within that range is what we would be looking to, you know, frame our trades off of. So anytime that you're trying to look for a swing high or swing low, it doesn't matter what time frame you're on. You could be on a monthly, a weekly, a daily, four hour, one hour, 15 minute, five minute. It doesn't matter as long as the candles on each side of it are lower than it for a swing high and then higher than the middle candle for the swing low. As long as that statement is true on any time frame, that would be classified as a swing high or low. Just keep in mind the ones that are formed on a higher time frame, so monthly, weekly, daily, and four hour, those are usually in place for a little bit longer time than the ones on the five minute or 15 minute because a lot of times what will happen is those lower time frame swing highs and lows will be used to get people in the market and then they'll you know, come back down or push it higher to take those people out just depending on uh, where that swing high or low is formed, which I'll go into that more in future videos. But just to talk about this example real quick, in between the swing low and swing high is 2,765 pips. So like I was saying, that took nine months to form. So in between that though, there's multiple opportunities that you could have either you know, taken a, a long or even a short uh, within that trading range. You just have to know really what you're looking for. And like I said, I'll go over that in future videos. I just wanted to touch on what a swing high and swing low is. So hope this helps. Um, just drop any comments below if you have any questions about anything that I talked about or if you're confused. And just be sure to like this video and also subscribe to the channel so you'll get all the new videos whenever I put them up. And also by you liking the video will also help push this video to other people that are trying to find this information as well. So that would be a big help. Thanks and see you in the next video.